Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 from JGN Games. In this tutorial, we will be scripting a basic splash screen for our game that works with all versions of the Unity engine. So stick around. In this tutorial, we will be making the splash screen shown in the intro section of this video. Note that this will not replace the standard made with Unity splash screen that cannot be disabled in Unity Personal. With that being said, let's jump right into this video. I have made two scenes for this tutorial in advance. One of them we will be using as the splash screen, the other will be our game's main menu. Here's a look at the splash screen I've made for this tutorial, and here's a look at the main menu I've made for this tutorial. Now let's jump right into some scripting. Right click in your project view and go to create C sharp script. We'll name this script Splash Control. Double click on this script to open it in your code editor. First, we'll reference our animator component. The animations are stored in this component, so all we need to do is reference this component, and we can get the animations from it. Let's make a start function. We need to assign the variable in the start function so that we know which object the animations are on. Also, we don't want the scene popping up directly after the animation is finished. We'll add a float variable so that we can control when the scene will load in. We finished making our variables, so let's jump right into writing our code. In the start function, we need to, cre we need to start a coroutine. This is a special kind of function that allows us to delay lines of code in C-sharp. We'll call this coroutine playNM. We write this in our code by saying I enumerator playNM, and then by setting this up like any other function. Here's where your version of Unity matters. In versions 5.2 and below, Unity uses the application class to load levels. Starting in 5.3, they've moved the loading of levels to a new class called Scene Manager. We have to reference this at the top of lines of our code by writing using Unity Engine Scene Management. If you are using 5.2 or below, you don't need this line and you can also just switch out the Scene Manager stuff with the regular application class stuff. The idea is the exact same. We are going to create a variable in our core routine that loads the level in the background while the splash screen is playing. This is so that if your main menu is extremely complicated, the player isn't just staring at a blank screen while the main menu loads. We use load level async to do this. Inside the parentheses, make sure your scene name make sure to put your scene name inside quotes. The system this uses is very case sensitive and it will give you an error if one letter is not capitalized. Now we need to prevent the scene from loading automatically. We do this by implementing the allow scene activation variable and setting it to false. This will load the scene in the background, and as soon as the variable is switched to true, the scene will load automatically. Now for delaying the main menu to load. Luckily, we can do this with only one line of code. We can use yield return new wait for seconds to delay the next line of code in, a certain, in the sequence for a certain amount of time. Inside the parentheses, we need to find our current animation being played using this incredibly long variable. We put zero in the parentheses to signify the animation is on the first layer. Remember, computers start counting at zero. Then we add dot length so that we can get the length of the clip. And we're going to add the delay variable onto this so that the scene doesn't load automatically. Then we need to allow set allow scene activation to false inside of the if statement and save the script. We finish the script, but we need to do one more thing inside of the editor in order for this to work. Go back to Uni and go to File, Build Settings, and drag in the scene that has the splash screen first and then the main menu scene. They have to be in this order in order to work. Now, we need to select the delay variable in the inspector window. I'll set this to 1 so that after the animation is complete, the main menu will pop up. Let's play this scene to make sure this works. Our script works and you are now one step closer to building a game. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. If this video sucked, you know what to do, but if it didn't, leave a like and maybe subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Don't forget to check out our website, social media, and our merch, all of which are in the description below. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time.